Hello, the strides made over the past two decades have tremendously improved the diagnostic as well as therapeutic capabilities of interventional pulmonology, especially flexible bronchoscopy. It is now possible to see beyond the bronchial wall with the help of endobronchial ultrasound and also to navigate to small lesion in the periphery with the help of virtual bronchoscopy and electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy. So to discuss more, I have with me Dr. Atul C. Mehta, who is the pride of India. He settled in USA. Dr. Mehta joined the Cleveland Clinic in 1981 and went on to become the vice chair of the pulmonology, allergy and critical care. He had been the head of bronchology for many years and also the medical director lung transplantation. He has written more than 400 papers in the peer reviewed journals. He's authored one book and edited many other books. He's a very keen teacher. He's been awarded teacher of the year by the Cleveland Clinic many years and he has held many workshops for the and the teaching session for the American College of Chess Physician and American Thoracic Society. He is currently working the Professor of Medicine, Lerner College of Medicine and Bunker Family Chair of the Lung Transplantation. He is the Senior Editor Journal of Bronchology and Interventional Pulmonology for last many years and he is the person who was the founder member of making this possible. So Dr. Mehta, uh, you have seen the development of international pulmonology over the last three decades. So what has really changed uh, in last three decades? Certainly, um, it's this last three decades have been very exciting uh, for a pulmonologist and truly it is the flexible bronchoscope that opened up the doors for the whole subspecialty of pulmonary medicine. If you look at it, pulmonary medicine prior to invention of flexible bronchoscope was mainly a management of tuberculosis or occupational lung diseases.